My name's Sean Wilkinson, and I'm the Managing Director and Principal Scientist of Wilder Lab, um, which is an environmental DNA laboratory in Wellington, New Zealand. So we provide uh, sampling kits for customers. We send them out all over the country and all over the world, um, and they take their own samples from the waterway that they're interested in, um, and it involves filtering some water through a syringe that starts the process of us analysing it using this eDNA metabarcoding approach, which sequences all of the different critters that um, whose DNA has ended up on the filter. Um, and then we can provide a big list of, of different species that we find in the waterway. Um, so the motivation behind this research was to be able to condense that large amount of information into a single metric that they could use to make management decisions. The TICI stands for Taxon Independent Community Index. And um, the, the way that this is unique is that it takes all of the DNA sequences that are found in a sample um, and can calculate a, an ecological health score um, without really needing to know uh, which species those sequences have come from. The model is trained uh, based on a bunch of uh, sites that we know a bit about their quality, and we're looking for associations between particular DNA sequences and the quality um, or the ecological health of those sites. So it bypasses or circumvents that whole taxon identification step, um, which is uh, proves to be quite a big bottleneck in the whole um, eDNA metabarcoding workflow. My name is Professor Mike Bunce. I'm the Chief Science Advisor at Department of Conservation in New Zealand. When we first sort of got environmental DNA going in New Zealand, uh, we were working on sort of, I guess, the basics of environmental DNA that is just sort of trying to identify some of the species that people sort of know about that live inside water. But the real innovation that Sean and the Wilder Lab team did is sort of sort of move in towards a sort of tree of life based approach where you look at everything from bacteria to bats in the sample and everything in between. And that gives us, is a, gives us a really sort of holistic picture of all the biology, the complex biology that sits behind that. And, and what Sean and the team have done with uh, in, inside this, this paper on this, on this Tiki index has distilled that complexity down to a number that tells us something about water quality, which is really relevant here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. So the, the short term goal is to create a national standard with it. Um, and use this as a benchmark to test the, the quality or the ecological health of New Zealand's waterways um, and then really branch out into other environments and other regions, um, marine environment, even soil. The sky's the limit, really, so to speak. This was a reasonably straightforward one because we already had um, an index in New Zealand that's been used for a lot of years based on those, uh, those insects. Uh, but there's a lot of environments out there and a lot of regions out there for which there are no biotic indexes available um, so that we really have no idea of the of the health or the trajectory of the health of these places so i feel that this method could be applied reasonably straightforwardly in some of those environments to help create um, some baseline ecological data environmental dna is is a technique that it is not just in the hands of specialist scientists uh, what Sean, myself, and, and a number of other collaborators around New Zealand have done have put that technique in the power of other people. Um, they choose where they would like to sample using relatively straightforward um, sampling devices. We've designed interfaces that they can look at uh, the data, they can look at the species they're detecting, they can look at a ticky value and understand what it means. We're able to sort of, I guess, take quite complicated molecular biology and get it to resonate with people and get them to engage with genetic technologies a little bit more.